Hello everyone, welcome to AI Sciences. My name is Shazeb Hamid and today we are going to implement a sentence similarity with the help of Hugging Face Sentence Transformers. So if you are familiar with Hugging Face Transformers, it is a library that is utilized for multiple type of NLP tasks. Nowadays, it is also branching out into fields such as computer vision as well so today we are going to use sentence transformers so the first thing that you need to do is you need to install the sentence from transformer just like this so let's install it it is also already installed on my google collab so maybe it will not take that much time for me after installing it let's build in a few cells more so after installing it, there are three most important things that you are going to import. The first thing is sentence transformer. The second thing is cosine similarity to check the similarity. And the third and the most important thing is we are going to import the P print as well. So let's import the first thing. Let's write from sentence underscore transformers import sentence transformer uh, what happened here okay so what is the next thing the next thing is we want cosine similarity so where is it located in it is located in scale learn matrix so from sk learn dot matrix dot pairwise import cosine similarity right and other than that what are we going to import we are going to import P print from P print. So from P print import P print. So let's get into, into it. Let's run that. Now that we have imported all of them, let's now make a model from this sentence transformer. So let's write model is equal to sentence transformer. And here let's write paraphrase mini lm l6 v2 so why are we writing this this is the transformer model that we are going to utilize so this is a paraphrasing transformer which is utilized right so that's why we wrote paraphrase mini lm large 6 v2 so uh, after this this uh, you know sort of model will be saved in this variable which is called model so now let's run this and now it is downloading it let it download it for a little bit and let's put in a few sentences now let's enter handle and after that let's just copy the sentences here okay so these are the sentences right so the first one is nothing much to say it as it is a math book then one processor works like a charm the second one is amazing laptop super performance the first, third one is working very slow and the last one is this is not a good laptop so now what we need to do is we need to make sentence embeddings so for that what we need to do is we need to write sentence m embeddings is equal to model dot encode and here i will write sentences okay 
so let's run this as well okay sentence is, is not right let's run this again okay so it is saying that the name sentences is not maybe it is with bigger s that's why let's copy that and let's paste that here let's run that okay so it worked right so we had to use the smallest here uh, and this was the smallest too because those two have to be same anyway so these are the sentences and uh, after that we got the sem sentence embeddings right here so on the next thing that we need to do is we need to print out the sentence and it uh, its embedding so for that let's develop a for loop for sentence right s e n t e n c e sentence comma embedding in zip sentences comma sentence underscore embeddings right so there are a few things that you, we should print out here so we should print sentence and let's write sentence here as well after that we should print out embedding and here we will enter the embedding as well and at last we will just print out this so now let's run this as well so there we go these are all the embeddings that are present for each sentence right so now that we have these we can also check uh, what is the length of total sentence embeddings so for that let's write alien s-e-n-t-e-n-c-e -E -E, sentence underscore embeddings so it's four now we can also check the length of the first variable in the sentence embedding so let's write sentence embeddings and here let's write zero so the first variable as has a length of 384 so the next thing that we can do is we can check the similarity between sentences 0 and sentences 1 right so for that we can take sentences 0 and 1 and uh, uh, we can just enter them into the cosine similarity so for that i am going to use pprint so here i will write similarity between curly brackets right and curly brackets again i'm going to write them later is this so what are we going to write in these three curly brackets so the first thing is sentence zero the second thing is sentence one and the third thing is cosine similarity and here we said sentence underscore embeddings zero dot reshape and here let's write one and minus one And after that, let's write sentence embedding one dot reshape. So sentence embedding one dot reshape, right? The same reshaping one and minus one, right? And after that, we are going to tell it that we need. The things that are at zero cross zero so let me fix the indent here 
so there we go now it looks a lot better so let's run this so similarity between nothing much to say as it is a macbook the m1 professor uh, uh, the works like a charm and this is this is this one so this is the similarity between the first two sentences right so there were four sentences and we checked out the similarity between the first two now in the same way we can check the similarity between other met, uh, sentences as well so let, let me paste it so this is it we can also check the similarity of other sentences now let's run this and this is you know sort of uh, giving the similarity between the first and the third one so this is how we can check the similarity between any of the two sentences the more the similarity is the more those sentences are related to each other so this is it for today in uh, let's uh, also catch up in the uh, next videos as well we sort of upload a lot of videos on youtube twice weekly actually so uh, goodbye for today <laughs>